Hello all of us community, welcome to Balance. Thank you for joining me on this journey of rebalancing our lives. I'm your host, Brian Karsten, and I'm turning 30 this month. I'm really excited to take this step out of my 20s with a plan for ultimate success in my 30s. To reach those goals, there are some big changes that need to be made. I figured that if I was going to go through this work to develop this new life budget, then I might as well help as many people as I can along the way. So let's go through this together. I want to keep things really simple and focus on a continual sense of accomplishment with manageable tasks. These tasks will quickly stack up and create a grand movement in your life. All right, let's jump right into it. So first thing that I did was figure out what my current position is financially. We're gonna call this your past because it's your past that has created this position. So let's break it down. Also, feel free along the way to pause this video and find these expenses out for yourself, then continue on. I've always found that it works better than taking in a huge amount of information and trying to implement it all at the end. Small details tend to get lost in the shuffle when you do it that way. So right now, I want you to write down all your current expenses that you absolutely have to pay for. Rent, food, utilities, outstanding loans, taking care of your pet, things like that. Don't forget the small things though. Small things that you know you're going to be paying for even if they aren't fulfilling Maslow's hierarchy of needs. For me, that's things like my monthly Spotify subscription. Music creates a mood, a drive, a feeling that I simply cannot live without. I love to sing and dance around the world, so having music at my fingertips makes this list. What are your passions that you cannot live without? Are you a gym rat who needs that daily pump to feel whole? Are you the gamer who has a huge social network online that brings you tons of joy? Whatever your passion that makes you feel amazing in this world, make sure it's on this list of expenses. Okay, now that we have these expenses all priced out, it's time to look at your current income. Your current income we will call your present because this is something you have the choice to work on every moment to maintain and improve your financial position. If you're salaried, this will be a bit easier. But if you work hourly, try to take the past six months income <clears throat> and average it out to get a mean monthly income. Now take these two figures and find the difference between your monthly income and your expenses. Is your number negative? If so, we need to back it up a little bit and reevaluate your expenses. Is there any passions that you can hold off on for a bit until we're able to boost your income and then add those back in? Is there a way to increase your income? Can you pick up shifts, add clients, or get a job or just a second job? <clears throat> if your income and expense differential is positive, then we need to decide what to do with this money. I was taught by my mom and dad how to manage this extra money. You did a great job, mom. <laughs> this system is called a zero balance distribution. The goal is to distribute all of your funds into savings, spending, additional loan repayments, anything whatever, you just need to decide that this money is going to go somewhere. And when these funds all have a home, you should be left with a zero balance. Where will your funds go though? For now, let's make a list. We want a list of needs for yourself, a list of needs for others, and wants for yourself. I'm a true believer that you should not help others until you've found peace in your own life first. Your list of needs for yourself should contain all the things you will need to be successful in your present and future. I personally need proper work clothes, a watch, headphones, obviously, and there's some other things. I know that I'm happy and confident when I feel clean, put together, and have music in my ears. Discover what you need to be happy and confident. Next is your list of needs for others. This will include family birthdays, Maybe wedding gifts, baby shower, or spousal events like anniversaries and Valentine's Day. These are important to help show your care for the relationships that you wish to maintain in your life. Finally, it's time to list the wants. I know it seems like those things you really want are pretty far down the page now, but how will you really feel if you spent money on a new TV but didn't spend money on your wife or on your work clothes? Relaxing at home in front of that TV won't be so relaxing if your work is upset with your professionalism and your wife feels underappreciated. It's worth it, I promise. Once your list is done, 
put a percentage next to each section. These percentages will correspond to how much of your paycheck will go to each section. Again, make sure the highest percentage is set for your needs and the lowest is set for your wants. When you eventually have fully fulfilled your needs, your needs for others are already taken care of, and you get to really spend the money on that TV, that purchase will feel so much better, and every time you sit down in front of it, you'll truly be able to relax. We'll go in depth with in future episodes on how to budget time and money for things like physical health, nutrition, sleep, social aspects, and your silent life to take care of yourself. Each of these components, if included into your zero balance budget, will improve your life plan and bring balance to your future. See, balance and stability are two different ideas. Balance pertains to the equality of distribution, where stability pertains to the success of that balance distribution. If done correctly for your individual situation, then we should be able to withstand life's emergencies and maintain stability in the face of accidents. I believe in having a three month buffer in your savings all the time, which will cover your expenses in case of emergency. Imagine you wreck your car and lose your job in the same month. It will take some time to get back up on your feet, so having that quarter to reestablish yourself is critical to your future. Without having that buffer, it's very easy to end up in a hole you simply cannot get out of without external resources. And not everybody has those external resources. Being self-sufficient and independent from these external resources is one of the biggest steps into and in maintaining your adulthood. Of course, there will always be uncontrollable outcomes where you may need a network to lean on. However, mitigating this as much as possible will only make you feel better and make you feel more in control of your future. When we are finished with these few steps, your budget could look something like this. Now feel free to copy my template or create your own. The template matters not. What matters is your understanding of your past, your present, and your future position with a plan of action towards your dreams. After we cover all the components of our rebalancing plan, I'll make sure to revisit this financial budget. As we discover more the importance of each component, I hope you will find new light in areas left dark or stale. Our next episode will focus on exercise, function, reason, and fun. Until then, I wish all of us a well week. Take care.